If you're struggling with a hook, this video might be for you. Today, with the help of TrackMan, we'll show you why you're hitting a hook and how to fix it. Hey golfers, Thomas and Drew here again at the driving range at Les Bolstad Golf Course with another fun video talking about the hook that golfers sometimes struggle with and how to fix it. And so we've got TrackMan with us today, we've got Thomas with us today to give us a few tips and a few drills. Uh, so Thomas, let's kind of get right into the meat of things here. When a golfer is hooking the ball, uh, why are they doing that? So a lot of it still comes down to your, your club path and your face angle relationship. I think a lot of this pertains to more of a pull hook. So a lot of times golfers say they slice the ball or they're trying to correct it, but they forget to fix their club path. Mm -hmm. So if your club path is left, yep. and then you're, you're trying to straighten it out, you're gonna have your club face pointing more left. Naturally, you're gonna get the ball starting left and going further left. So you still need to fix club path. Sure, and it's the club path, and then you also talked about being the face angle being a little close. So uh, today, uh, the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna hit a couple of hooks uh, we'll see that what the TrackMan data says about those hooks and why that ball is going left. And then Thomas will give me a few drills to fix that and then hit some nice straight tee shots. So, uh, you ready to get into it, Thomas? Let's see you hitting the shots. So, we just took a look at some shots. Mm -hmm. You hit some pretty far snap hooks here. Yeah. And they were a combination of face to path being left and also catching a couple of shots out on the toe as well. Okay. So let's first talk about the numbers here and why the ball was going to the left. Well if we take a look here we can see that your club path on average you know it was 1.2. Your first, first one was a little bit to the left your last one was a little bit more in to out. But what happened was your face angle was always closed. Mm -hmm. So because your face angle was always closed the ball always follows the direction that face is pointing. And because some of your path was going that way, it even exaggerated so you could even hit more of a hook essentially. Sure. So your face to path on average was negative 8.8. .8. Wow. There was one shot where your face to path was only negative 5.6, but it had the most amount of curve on it. Why would that shot have more curve even though your face to path was not as far left? Off the toe. It was well off the toe, mm -hmm. yes. And that particular shot, if we look here, was 35 millimeters out towards the toe. Wow. So it really it's two things, right? So a lot of it is to hit location, and it's also face and path, mm -hmm. and how to control and how to square those two up. Sure, sure. So how do I fix that then? Do you have anything for me to, maybe drills or something that I can, I can use to help me out? Yeah, I mean, it's similar to when you're trying to fix a slice, honestly, we're still trying to fix your path. So we want to get your path as neutral as we can. Mm -hmm. If we can get your path to be straighter through alignment, set up, making sure our feet, our yep. shoulders, and the club face is pointing toward the target, that's a great start. Okay. So let's work on your alignment here first. All right, so I'm going to give you a couple of alignment sticks to work on your alignment. So first we're going to be doing feet and shoulders. Yep. So let's get your feet to be lined up there. Kay. And actually have your feet kind of dead straight in, in line. Sure. And I'm going to do one other line here. So this is going to be your club face, your target okay. line. So if you look here, I don't know how straight that is, but that's pretty good. If, we, if we're going to hit these shots here, we want to have your face angle and your feet kind of on the same parallel okay. lines. So when you hit these shots, we want to make sure that the face stays like it's going down to that target line, yep. but you're nicely set up towards the target. Sure. So that shot was much better. Mm -hmm. You cracked the 300 mark, so that's 306 yards. Okay. But we'll notice the ball still went to the left a little bit. So I want to assess your grip as okay. well. So I'm noticing when you're setting up here, your grip's kind of, it's fairly strong today. Mm -hmm. So I'm seeing about three or four knuckles, and I'm seeing a lot of that logo on that yeah. glove. About two knuckles with that left hand is, is ideal. That's considered a neutral grip. So we want to move your hand just a little bit more here. Okay. So we can see one, sure. two knuckles. Okay. Let's see if that makes a difference. Boom, dead straight. That was pretty nice. Yeah, that was hit well. So it all comes down to face angle. Yeah. On that particular shot, your face angle was 0 0.4 degrees. All right. So 
Yeah. Within one degree, I'd say that's going to cause that ball to go fairly straight. Mm -hmm. And that thing still had a tiny little drawer, but we can live with 20 feet. We can't live with anything over 100 feet to the right. left. Right, exactly. Yeah. And then finally, we touched on one of the shots was actually off the toe of the club. Mm -hmm. So the distance that you stand from the ball can influence that a lot as well. So coming back to my recommendation, if you go like this with your right hand, pinky, thumb spread as far as you can mm -hmm. apart, spread the finger out, go from where your belt buckle is to the top of the grip. That'll get you in a good spot where your hands is kind of just kind of hanging down kind of naturally. Sure. And that'll help for center contact with the driver as well. Sweet. All right, well, Thomas, I think uh, my hook was fixed a little bit there. So tell me what, you know, what does TrackMan say about how things were fixed? And because uh, I like the drills that you did too, those worked. Yeah, well, because the ball was now staying in the air and it wasn't just that snap hook, you picked up quite significant distance. Yeah. We're talking you were only hitting at 216 yards when you were hitting that yeah. snap hook. You're now hitting at 307. See, you're close to almost 100 yards. <laughs> big, big difference there. 169 carry, now 284 carry. So mm -hmm. big, big change up. And a lot of that is because the face angle, when that face angle is closed, the ball doesn't have a chance to stay in the air. Right. Let's take a look at your club path numbers and face angle numbers and see what changed. Well, your club path numbers were, believe it or not, on average 1.2 and 2.3, so they were pretty similar, right? Yeah. They mentioned a lot of the times when people hit that, that hook, it's the same path, it's just, you know, they're trying to correct a slice. Yeah. However, the difference now is face to path. So you were leaving your face angle about six degrees more open okay. coming through. So your face angle on average was negative 1.2 when you were hitting it straighter after making the adjustment. And when you were hooking it, it was close at 7.6 degrees. Okay. So then we improved your face to path. And then on average, when you were hooking the bull, 138 feet of curve to the left. Now on average, three feet of curve to the right. I like that. I like that. I, I could really feel the difference too with the grip, uh, with my grip being too strong and then kind of correcting that. It almost it almost made it impossible for me, it's felt like, to have that face closed with a, with a weaker grip. Yeah, I mean, it's always going to be a little player dependent with the, with the grip. I mean, if someone feels really, really comfortable with, with the way they're gripping it, then we've got to find a different way to get them to feel like they can keep that face angle coming through. But end of the day, the golf ball always follows the direction the club face is pointing. And lastly, Thomas, we didn't even talk about the golf club and the things you can adjust on the hosel or maybe the center of gravity to manipulate that as well. Yeah, there's definitely draw bias golf clubs out there. And if you're hooking the ball and you're playing a draw bias golf club and you don't even know, yeah. there's a good chance it's, it's going to be hard for you. So if you find a way to open that club face up, move that center of gravity away mm -hmm. from the heel, um, maybe give yourself a little less loft on the club to make it harder. You're specifically holding tailor-made driver there in your yep. hands. If we were going to set that thing at lower, what you're actually doing is you're opening up that face angle about four degrees. Right. So there's ways as a club fitter that we can help you. But at the end of the day, whatever you do, you need to get that club face to be square to the target and also to your path. Absolutely. Well, Thomas, thank you for providing the tips today. A couple of drills as well. I think golfers that maybe struggle with the hook can take this to the golf course or to the driving range and really help out their game and ultimately shoot some lower scores. So Thomas, thank you again and thank you to the viewers for watching.